That's right. That's right. What's going on, everybody? This is What's Good Phoenix, man. I'm your host, Aware. And I'm DJ Tranzo. And today we have a special, special guest. Oh, yes. On the podcast for an interview. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hola, mundo. <laughs> that's right. Hello, world. This is Mo, Money Mo. What's up, creators? <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us okay. some more about you. Tell What's us tell up? us where you're from. What organization you're from? I'm going to start off with a quote. Um, you are the sure. creator of your own reality, and we all have a job to fill, and let's um, we can all be a champ to each and every um, one child. That's awesome. That's beautiful. So, yeah, let me, um, man, that, that was real good. You know, nobody ever started off with a quote. Yeah, that was good. First time, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming. You know, we appreciate it. We, I, I messaged you and you were like, yeah, let's do this. So I said, hold on, let me put on my eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> she did say like, my you red know, lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she was willing to come down, um, be part of our podcast second season. We appreciate you um, just for sitting here with us. So thank you. You uh, wear many, many hats. Uh, I've been following you for quite a bit of time and you are doing a lot the most and i see you doing a lot of things for um a community and things like that um but tell us a little bit tell us a little bit about yourself you know what i mean like uh, the organization you're from the onana organization and also from the i2i I productions correct that's correct and yeah just tell us a little bit like you know who you are and you know um she, has, a, she has another name too yeah what is your name vintage hourglass oh you got another one <laughs> Vintage Hourglass is the so uh, Vintage Hourglass is the entertainment piece. Um, out of that came out two babies, which is the Onan organization and the other baby that is Eye to Eye Productions, and those are the two babies I'm presenting to Ta Transo here because I've known him for several years. Um, but yes, yeah, Mo's awesome. You know, every time I see her, she's always smiling. <laughs> <laughs> always in a good mood and she supports and she shares you know she'll share um your you know my music posts and i try to do the same but she's a real a real good supporter and, and of the local community so that's why um we also will ask you to come on here because you know a lot of people too yes, yes. You, yeah you do thank you for all the support too that you've yes. supported me with my art and all the different things that we do this is amazing yes yeah. some of the best people are in the room and i'm actually honored and i'm pleased to be here so I just want to um, thank whoever's listening for your time for this. Um, it's going to get real here. Just want to say, go get some popcorn. Go get your michelada. I already fed these guys. I'm just saying. Just she kidding. did. She brought no, food. No, no, I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, soy mexicana. We got to have comida, algo de tomar y una botana. Yeah. So that was yeah. nice. I thank you. It was delicious. That. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you. She did. She came, she came on. She came in like, like a champ. For sure. Mm. With the old school, like Mexican soda <laughs> in the bottle. Mm. Pues sí. Yes. We have to. We must. A little bit closer. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to keep bugging to. you we to keep going. There must, we go. So, nice and clear. <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. Let's go, I'm going to, I like to take it way back with everybody, all the way to like where you were born. Where, like, oh, wow. You know, so <laughs> tell us from the, you know, in the short version, yes. you know, where, where were you born from and where did you grow up? So um, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Humpty. <laughs> Always got to start off with the laugh, right? Right. We got to add some some star some star starcasm. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Starcasm. Starcasm. Se habla español primero mm -hmm. and then English. So, mm -hmm. por favor, bear with me. <laughs> yeah, no, you be you. You be yes. you. So, first and foremost, I was born and raised in... Where are my Cali folk at? I'm just saying. <laughs> I was born and raised in West Los Angeles, um, a small town that some of you may know or may not know, named Culver City, California. And yes, we were beach brats. 24 seven, seven days a week. But um, beach life was everything, you know, and born and raised in Culver City, then um, branched out of my adulthood in Venice, California. And um, now I'm here in Arizona. I came here to actually um, do exactly what I promote. Um, it's positive self-expression and self-worth. And I came here and packed up my bag with my two boys. Um, shout out to Jesse and Alejandro. Shout out Jesse and Alejandro. Yes, um, they have um, really been innovators and motivators here in Arizona as well. But we decided to plant our flag here and just call Arizona home. So 
Thank you for the experiences. It's just been amazing here and coming from a creator background. I've always just promoted and been supportive of anyone and everyone that creates any type of self-expression, whether it's for yourself, whether it's for the community or promoting it. So um, that's kind of my little summarization of donde esta mo, money mo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how how old were you when you when you came out? Um you, I'm not gonna ask you how old you are. I'm just saying how old were you when you came out? Yes, I was um twenty five years old. I was twenty five years old, I wanna say, but um yeah, and I honestly just came here for like a three day weekend and then just said, What? There's always sun here, heck yeah. I mean, of course, I knew I was going to miss the beach, but I just thought of like, there's so much education be behind agriculture here that we can educate and just um, plant some seeds and let it flourish. And that's been my mission ever since, just being able to come to Arizona and enjoy um, the beautiful um, sun that there is here and so much history behind that will go way back behind us that can go back into ancestry and just having the knowledge of um, the Aztecs and having the knowledge of what I grew up with, um, not what is taught in other um, incarceration or anything like that, not to talk anything towards it, but just keep on the positivity that we're all one, we're all indigenous, regardless of your background. We all come from some type of source that is um, you know, um, there was roots one time flagged there and our ancestors is something that we always need to continue acknowledging in life. And that's just, um, I said, you know what? Arizona's going to be home. Why? Because Mexico está allá. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y California allá, y Texas allá. You know, all I, I'm a foodie. So I was like, I would love to just be here and drive to all these places and be in the middle of it. But Arizona was just perfect for it, so. Yeah, you know, I've always known you to be, um, you know, real rich in in, in la cultura, you know. Yes, absolutely. So um, I always liked that. That was real. For sure. For, um, so you you got here, and and then, um, you know, how did you get into doing what you're doing? Did you have that mission already? Yes. Yeah, so um, in California, I've always just been around the creators of. Um, I've always been around the creators that are just um, creators of raves, creators of dancing, creators of events. So being able to be around that, there was so many perks of that I didn't even realize. I was sponsored here. I would get my friends into free events. I would get them free clothes. And I just continued that all the rhythm here. And I, for a minute, was just soul searching and said, you know, I know that I'm on a mission to be able to raise my children to be the best version of themselves. But as a woman and as a mother, I could teach them to be male, but I can't teach them to be masculine. Therefore, if I have to strip everything away from my back generational of where I was raised and the machismo and the women do this and instead just raise them in an environment that, hey, we're a team, I'm not mom, you're not son, we're just a team. We can all just kind of plant these seeds here and just see where it goes and let's flourish out of it. And that was my mission to begin with. <laughs> Therefore. Well, I know about the team thing. Like, um, that's how I am with me and my kids. I'm like, we're, we're a team, you know, like we stick together, you know, um, through the goods and bad. So we are together, you know? Yes. You're a great example of <clears throat> when they speak on where you see yourself, you know, in five years, just look at your friends. You've had some really good, um, influential people, uh, inspiring people around you and stuff, and you continuously you're, you're meeting them and stuff. And uh, that's amazing. That, that's amazing that you could do that. Um, I myself try to do that as well. You know what I mean? I try to look at the um, purpose of um, the reason why we met um, or the reason why, you know, we support each other and stuff. And sometimes the vibes aren't really there. You know what I mean? But I've just, I've seen you do like, you're super active in the community and doing a lot of stuff for a lot of different people. You know, so it's amazing, really cool. So let's get to um, some of your organizations that you're doing and, and the work that you're doing. Like, um, where did you start? I know you have a, like two or three, you know, 
businesses and, and organizations and things that you do that are great. Each one of them, and you know, we're going to try to give them its own time. But what was the first one? How did you know? How did you start kicking it off? So um, first and foremost, I um, started as um, a um, just kind of like a, a knowledge base. I started as um, Vintage Hourglass, which Vintage Hourglass basically was just to provide knowledge for um, coming back from a entertainment background. I work for Sony Pictures Entertainment, and I don't know if I could say that, but I do not own you the can rest. say whatever you want <laughs> yeah you can say whatever you want i mean okay. you know we all say where we worked before yes. you know mm -hmm. so i used to work for that um organization and several others um that the list can just be so wide open that are in the entertainment um record label industry production and in being able to have that knowledge and know that there's no I don't want to say none because there's several organizations out here, but they don't give you the goods. They don't give you the, you know, hey, if you don't have your name trademark, if you don't have this type of business knowledge, if God forbid you go overnight, you go viral and then something, you know, we all are, you know, humans, things happen in life, you know, whether it's health, whether it's wealth. <laughs> Whether it's, you know, you go with the sugar mama and forget about your business and then it explodes. Just kidding. Um, you Damn, know. give me one of those. <laughs> hey, he, he guys, one. taking applications. I'll take a sugar granny. I'll take a sugar granny. I <laughs> stop. So, so, so I wouldn't call it artist development. It was, it would be artist. What, what would you call it? So it was more um, more based around the creator of any type and giving them the knowledge where if they want to be able to get um, legal, you know. So art, like artist services correct. in a sense. Like a, yes, but it wasn't just catered to artists. It was just anyone who was a creator or anyone who was stuck in like, if I get into, if I start creating music, where do I put my music? How do I get the, how do I get paid? Because you could get paid for content. You could get paid. And I don't mean just, I don't mean your social media productions. I mean, there's um, production, you know, there's several production um, platforms that you can be able to get paid even by even taking pictures. So these are things that a lot of these um, creators don't have the knowledge of and um, since I knew the goods, I said, Hey, why don't you just, it was just kind of like, hold this pen. There's that pen, you know? Yeah. And to me, I realized that it's, even though it was second nature to me, people already knew like, what? Wait a minute. She knows the goods. I want her to manage me. <laughs> you know, I want her to be, um, you know, my manager. She knows where the bag of money is. You know, that's why they call me money mo, but that's. So you did. Introduced. So you did artist management also. Well, yes kind, and no. Yes and I, no. you know, it was my. I, I prefer the self sufficiency. So I would educate them on what they needed to do, the part paperwork that they needed to be able to get there, and I still do to some. You know, I work private with private clients, and um, I choose just not to take a lot of that responsibility on me because I want them to be able to say, okay, I'm worth. A million. Okay, well, let's get there. How are you going to get there on your own? Let's go ahead and create this plan and you execute the project. You took action by meeting me. We got the results. Now, what is the execution? And yeah. that's something that I live by. I const constantly um, promote that. Well, yeah, a lot of people will want to kind of keep that as what they consider their value so they can have a chunk of, of it. And you're kind of just setting them up to be independent and make their own make their own absolutely that's awesome that's that is like a nonprofit um approach correct so i started that's how my i had to separate the two because i became a young grandma <laughs> you're a nana hey. i'm a grandma she's a too, young so nana she's, yeah. a, she's a young uh, nana shout out to nanas and tatas she's yes. a tatas club yeah. i'm the uh, tata club too. <laughs> yeah you know yes we got shirts i do have shirts as Kind uh, Kainoa's grandpa. Oh yeah, and I wear it. I don't give a damn. Wear That's it. awesome. I'm gonna have to make my own damn <laughs> Tata shirt. Trend. It's a Tata. Yeah, they can't yeah. find hardly any that says Tata. Yeah. You know. So, so anyway, I don't know. I think this is falling off. You can probably close it more, like put it like okay. this in your dome, like this, like on top. Oh, there you go. You got to <laughs> fix your hair. Yeah, we're live right now. There's like a thousand people watching. Oh my goodness. But that one is the one's backwards. Like flip it. There you go. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know what that way. Ay, ranchera, soy yeah, una I know. Headphones, man, headphones. Es mi primero podcast, discúlpame. It's no supposed to be easy where you just put them on. Huh? We like oh, these flipping around. We like these bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your organizations now. Then Let, let's let's start with them. Um, which one do you want to talk about first? So first and foremost, um, I like I said, I started the Vintage Hour class the Vintage Hour class project and the story behind that. And I'll just give you a little backstory of the logo because every logo has its own reason behind that. And um, this logo. Um, it's a uh, hourglass and it's just kind of really just an hourglass and from there you know i've just had people send me pictures of themselves like when they were going through depression or mental health and then boom they turned it around and it was like a paradise or their um you, you know their ideal place where they ever wanted to go and escape to or just a different realm in life or a different portal these are taught these are all you know sent to me so i said wow this is amazing um and this is all through social media some people i've never ever met in my life and they would send me these pictures and i'm like wow then that's what i'm gonna go with an hourglass and i would share knowledge you know whenever i can and some of them would have their dark days that it was not the best time in their life and they just needed a coping mechanism and they're like your life your life was so creative like i just want to keep playing it over and over because you just you you laugh so funny you're just you're charismatic and you know and it was all just simple stuff you know me being you know helping being i've always been behind the scenes behind creators like this producer here and this creator here so i like to capture them in their moment and people just love that they're just like I, you know, some of them domestic violence, I could never get out of the house and those pictures or watching him paint really, you know, made me believe in myself. Let me go over there and let me start creating a mural and just being able to be the best version of themselves just by me um, sharing content from other people. I like that. I, I think I've heard you say that a few times, the best version of yourself. Absolutely. Yes. I, I think that's a good, that's a good, uh, so, a, a good yes. quote, you know. So I'm going to quote you now, yes. the best version of yourself. You know, you should, you need to be the best version of yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tomate una soda mexicana, la azúcar está más mejor. The yeah. sugar's better in Mexican yeah. sodas, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I try to be, I try to, um, uh, I'm always, I'm, I'm uh, obviously we're our biggest critics. Absolutely. But I try to give the best that I can in everything. And And one of the things that I say is, when it comes to murals and stuff or pieces of artwork that I do, always shoot to be like your next piece has to be better than your last. Yes. So if you continue that, whether it's your albums and this album has to be the next one better than this one and this one and just keep it going. <clears throat> That's what I do. And also, too, uh, <clears throat> I, I like to connect with people that that have so much motivation and th that it's so inspiring for me. That man, I, I want to, I, I want to absorb some of that, you know what yes. I mean, and get that energy too to, to level up, you know, because we're always trying to elevate each other and level up, you know what I mean? Yes. So, that's just me. I'm trying. I try every day, <laughs> whether it's being a better grandpa, a better friend, you know, a better host on the podcast. You're doing amazing. You know, uh, just a, just a, <laughs> a, you know a, a friend. Yeah. And yeah. Things I like mean, that, you know, I I, I hear um doing great. I hear people talking in the music industry about trying to always make the next better one than the last one you know yeah uh but but i hear a lot of I, I heard, was that, that me? was, that was no dang that was me i dropped my <laughs> i dropped my glock oh my god se le cayó la chancla so <laughs> they sound like that huh? um but sometimes they say you know don't worry about being topping the last one just keep creating just be there and put it out. Everyone's yes. not going to be your best one. Everyone's not going to be the one that. And and but you never know what people are going to respond to. And that's happened in, in in with my music. Like I'll put some, you know, out of this collection of, of this body of work. Mm -hmm. You know, these are my favorite. These are good, but this, you know, this one's like what this I think is it. not the greatest. Still made it the cut, but that's sometimes the one that people are like. Man, that's my favorite. Yeah. 
And you're like, mm. that's the same for me for paintings. Paintings that I hate, I can't stand. They're like, yo, that's amazing. So and you'll get the most the like, <laughs> like you know, uh, comments or you know, support on it. And you're like, damn, I thought that was. So it might be the yeah. easiest one you made. Yeah. And you know, you think people are going to respond to the most. So yeah, I think you just got to approach it in both ways. In a sense, you always got got to want to be better than your last one, but you still have to cannot be discouraged that you can't. You top gotta, it you know you gotta show that up. could be some pressure that could yeah. be some yeah. pressure what show you- up with that same energy um how you did for that last one um for me uh if you follow my instagram it's it's all day you know what i mean and there's there's a reason for that you know what i mean um yeah. number one is obviously to use a platform uh for social media use it for socializing or for media i use it for media you know what i mean um but i try to really put out so much work so people can see it but also what I'm doing, too, is I'm creating a journal for myself. Yes, absolutely. So there is times I've caught myself, and a lot of people that's don't do good, that. That's a good way to put it. Bro, I go all the way down to the very first post. Number one, I start seeing a bunch of weird stuff that I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to use Instagram, so it was weird. But after a while, when uh, he's cleaning I'm not, house is yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, when you. I'm not inspired or I'm not painting or maybe I'm in between, like, you know, um, jobs or you know gigs and stuff i i go back like a couple of months you know and you know and look at things i'm like damn you know what i mean that was amazing and and uh the people that you tagged you know those are the people that you met uh and i take a look at them and and sometimes i'll click on them again to see if they're still following me i do that i do that on facebook yeah, yeah. um i like when those memory things pop up yeah yeah because cool. sometimes there's pictures that i yeah. forget or things i'm like man that's yeah that w- it reminds me of that day one of the best things i've I ever have trends of just busting up just kidding <laughs> yeah you get a little scratchy scratch right. on right. <laughs> one of the best things that i've ever done is uh, i was on my first music video with them uh, and that was that was amazing i didn't even plan on being it until See they what asked I mean? me me too i get yeah, caught it was up really like cool. that too it was yeah, cool I, <laughs> I remember so i seen both of you guys yeah. in they music put me video in situations yeah. so i think it's really cool shout that out to the brown girls when you uh, oh man i remember the brown girls <laughs> oh yeah yes. where are they at uh, <laughs> no they were they were uh, is that a group <laughs> yeah yeah oh, i thought you guys were saying brown was, girls. They, they were from south phoenix right yes. the south phoenix because there was shout a brown, out to the brown we, girls we there was the brown boys still around girls yeah there was the brown boys and there was a, i think smeared lipstick was part yes. of that weren't they hey shout out to unique divine yeah the let's bring them on the shout podcast. out to unique i think yes. I, yeah I'm, I'm, i follow I'm her on, on instagram <laughs> Those are my comadres. What's yeah. up, girls? Yeah. I hear a lot of good stuff yes. about them um, through Everybody's the years. Everybody's independently still working, girls. We're still working. And Unique Divine does have her recording studio in Tempe. I'll put it on my post. Does she? Does yes. she record drums? Yes, she does. Well, then, then mm. I need to hit connection, her up. Connection, connection. So, Unique, yeah. Unique, um, I need to hook up with you. I need Me some drums recorded. Time. I'm kidding. I love her. So, check They're this amazing. out. As you're going through this journey uh, with Vintage uh, Hourglass yeah. and the, the Onan organization and, uh, you know, the I2I production, um, there's a lot of people that just, they can't come with you. You know, your, your dreams are just really big. You're motivating. You're just going. And... It's it's in your heart and it's in all, all of our hearts to keep moving and having these people move with us and stuff. Uh, there's something that I say um, that I have written on my refrigerator and I, I don't know maybe I caught it or made it up. You know, if you're not with me, you're in my way, and I'm just gonna keep mm-hmm. moving. I'm gonna keep creating. I'm gonna keep networking. I'm gonna keep helping community and do things like that. You know, uh, have you had something similar to that where you just I got to keep moving. I've tried to help and inspire as many people as I can. I've tried to, you know, share with them as well and to come with me and to do things. You find yourself like respectfully, like, I'm just going to keep moving, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I would want, I want you to take this journey with me. If not, it's cool. You know what I mean? Like, cause there's a lot of people that don't support me. They support me from a distance and that's okay. Yeah. That's all good. You know, I see the ones that are on my Instagram. The real but, ones. but you just the said they support you still though. Yeah. Even though you're not liking my stuff, you're still watching. You yeah. know what I mean? So with That's that, supporting. yeah. So with I that, they gave you another trolls. view. Yeah. So thank I you. I got those social media trolls too. Yeah. Don't so worry so about with it. that, with, <laughs> with I don't have no trolls. Yeah. So with the success that you, you that you have, you know, and stuff like that, and and have you kind of have left some people behind? You know what I mean? In in a in a positive way, not in a negative way. Like, hey, you know, if maybe maybe I was like talking to you about my dream and my goals, and maybe this just maybe it was a little bit too much for you. You know what I'm saying? Do you continuously move on respectfully and saying, you know what, I just got to keep rocking. You know what I mean? I got to keep doing it. Yes. So for me, I always look at the I always look at the positive perspective where it just um, it goes along with the um, quote that you said. 
Um, but my quote is what I say is, um, in order to grow, I got to let you go. And Ooh. at the same time, um, it's just um, we have to um, like we reap what we sow. So we have to harvest the right seeds. I can't, you know, if I'm watering the wrong seed and it, and if it's, you know, it's not much that it's in my way. But if the there's weeds on it, you know, you have to just leave it because the, you know, the plant is going to grow and it's going to sprout and it's going to harvest. And if that weed just stays there and just kind of lingers, you don't really, you know, you have to just let it give its moment. People have the, their own times uh, in their life where they're growing in different perspectives in life and different things going on in everybody's life. I'm not really focused on what everybody else is doing. And I don't mean to sound condescending or disrespectful. It's just because, um, you know, what doesn't serve me doesn't serve me. And I just um, bless them and let them know that they're blessed mm -hmm. and highly favored. You know, they're also children of God. We're all here. And I feel that whatever moment they serve me at the moment in time that they did, I we were able to exchange um, whatever interaction we needed to and the times I out, whoever hangs out with me, y'all know it's an, it's an experience. So it doesn't matter. Like there ain't mm. no other mo mm. train like mine. You know what mm. I'm just saying? Mo like train. We, and that's we, go, we don't even go on the train. We don't cold. catch feelings. We catch flights, baby. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. So you know what? Uh, I, re I respect that because you know what? I had to come in realization um, a few years ago. My loyalty is different from everybody else's, right? Sometimes I find myself like, why can't you do I'm be like me? And I, I can't. You know why that is? We're, we're all in different chapters of our lives. Absolutely. And I really started to pay more attention to that uh, throughout the years where maybe maybe I'm very like outgoing on a project or, you know, um, you know, my personality is a lot more bigger and my, my light is brighter than yours. And, and, and not to knock on you because, you know what I'm saying, but just I'm in, I'm in a different part of my life, a different chapter. Um, so one of the things that I want to ask you too is during this like stages of Vintage Hourglass and, and any one of the organizations that you represent um, and, and anything you were cultivating and stuff like that, can you share with us like, you know, a, a really good story, um, you know, exclusive for What's Good Phoenix on something that there was just a story that, that, that just continues to move and you keep to tell that story of maybe it's somebody you worked with, an artist or, you know, someone, you know, do you have anything like that? Yes. Yeah, so as we speak, shout out to the, as we speak, shout out to the Giovanna team. They're out in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, representing Phoenix, Arizona. Yay, in yay. International fashion show. I love, I love when people from Phoenix are out representing. And, yes. You know, because that's a choice. They don't have to be like, yo, I'm representing PHX. Yes. They can just be out there representing themselves, but they choose to, you know, include us include us with them that's that's love correct so um you know um shout out to mommy hustler she's out there um you know on her venture and uh, along with kyle james and Dejedes and um alfred that's uh, my my team there and we're actually going to different countries um to um just network with other creators from other countries and what i was able to do here now it's going international global we're going to be on the metaverse as well so we will be having our own platform and um i'm just saying you know um this is the year guys this is the year for you to focus on yourself focus on your best version of yourself how um just you know meditate um find that serenity within yourself put your feet in the ground and you know that's basically what these artists are doing out in cabo san lucas they're just you know, they were supposed to go as models and then I just got them as um, performers as well. And now they're going to be headlining um, the fashion show. So um, I'm really um, honored and blessed to be close with these artists. And they're actually um, some of them. People will call them out here. Oh, they're new. They haven't been around. But in my eyes, some of them were. They don't need to shine in. No, uh, let them shine. The, let yeah. them shine. They're, you know, they're shining. If, if somebody's in their got own. something going on. If somebody you know, that's sees, a blessing. Correct. If somebody, I'm just the type of person that I just celebrate everybody. It's somebody's birthday every day. Like today, I celebrated these guys. I didn't get them dessert, but I did get them some. Oh man, you can still go. Get <laughs> share, man. He loves soda. Ay ay soda. Yeah. Eh? No right? yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's 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 the way. It, 
Holy crap. So do you do yes. do you have like a a special story? So yes, yeah, so this is the story that I want to mention. Um You have to come up closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a story I want to come it. up. We want to hear like a whispering in her ears. This is the story. Tell us. Of a lovely lady. Say yeah, my money mo. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you should have your own podcast. How can we have a podcast? Everybody has asked me to, right, guys? You guys, Set hello. You up. Set expired you citizens you know what i'm talking about okay. shout out to jessica and team give them flowers those yes those are my young cultivators by the way shout out to them we shout um, out to the next generation for yes sure. these are the after the millennials shout out to jessica she's with um vibrant artist and shout out to um mr designer um cut and sew um, his name is Dale, his um, expired citizens. He has his own line and he made it to New York. So nice. I'm glad to be able to be part of those guys and being able to hang out with them and mentor them when they were in their early stages of this. Now they're creating their own shows. And um, that's definitely where I want to be able to take it to where um, these um, people who I have been able to it just started off as like, hey, let's go to do, let's go do art. Hey, let's go, you know, listen to this music. Let's go listen to somebody DJ to like, hey, um, what you doing after this? Let's go get some tacos. And then just became like a creative family. So these are all my creative family that I um, created around me. We just, you know, we would share comida, conversation. And a lot of them had personal stuff going on, you know, and um, then we just kind of started re branching out to the community and realizing that there's people that are um, behind the social media who have needed to be able to find a positive, um, creative, um, intellectual development, self-expressive way to cope with suicide, depression, or even everyday life, you know. And um, can, can, you, can you get closer and say that one more time? Because yes. that sounded really good. So I just wanted to be able to create a platform. It didn't matter um, what it is that you did or your your personal background. And I just wanted to create a platform where it was a positive creative um, for intellectual development and just have a personal self-expression where you were already born with something in life. You came with a purpose. And if you needed guidance, um, I just basically provided the tools for it, which was just a... Um, uh, event where hey we need this is a prime example my team in um, that's in Cabo San Lucas they just needed somebody to go and model and I was like hey I'll send these they're artists but I'm they look good I I don't want to go they always want me to model and I'm just like no I don't model <laughs> I appreciate it but I, I think as many times as you have I think you can call correct. yourself as a model exactly now. so you know so um he knows me for a very long time and knows that at this point I've been in places where I've just been the the person in behind and it's like hey we we need a solo of her <laughs> you know so me being silly mo money mo whatever you guys want to call me um just but don't just call you late for dinner. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't call you that broke. That part. <laughs> that part for real. And um, especially when it comes to food, you know, comida. Mm. <laughs> so. You got more food? Just um, You know, we could call it in. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she knows all the spots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Acá, ya. Speaking of spots, mm -hmm. where, 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 did you, uh, where did you hang out uh, in Phoenix? What was your stomping grounds? <laughs> Oh, you want to say? Just tell kidding. us, man. <laughs> Wherever DJ Trezzo was playing. Yeah. Where did you, you come on around. now? <laughs> Where did you sharpen your knives at? <laughs> hey, DJ Trezzo, like back in the days, I'm just saying, you know, B-Boys after dark type of stuff. Oh, man, she said after dark. <laughs> That's cool. I just met. Can you like, rap? Can you rap? Well, kind of. My name is Mona. It was nice to know you. I used to live in California. Now I live in Arizona. Hey, y'all. Just kidding. Yo. <laughs> that was a What's Dude. Good Phoenix exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive. She just turned you out, man. She just Damn. Out. We're going to save that for the, the, the closing. Uh, the, the closing right? Shit. You're yeah. going to do it one more time. Later. Yeah. Una vez más. So at the very end, you do it okay? Yes. Do it again. I go ahead. Go ahead. Back. Go ahead. So with that being said, um, our mission is just to be able to, um, we have, um, you know, with so many different layers of artists and people who have, in a sense, you know, it's not that I was, I looked for these people. I was just in the place and they, they were just, like, hey. You just, they just seem to 
from by what you're saying correct gravitate towards correct gravitate towards someone who knew what they were doing is what they told me <laughs> but it was more or less just to educate the audience with the knowledge that i already had in the profession i was like hey i'm not a lawyer um you know disclosure but i could share with you the business business part of it and um, how about I teach you to teach others, <laughs> you know, and there was no pyramid scheme or whatever. It was all just for knowledge and education and just be able being able to help people just find their path within time. But um, with that being said, you know, I also have had the ability to say with what he just asked that there's layers behind that because it's been, it's all age groups that if it's mm. been from, you know, like you said, you're a tata, but you're still a creator, you know. So now you have little wings coming. What? How? What? How many generations is that? That's three yeah. generations of children. So, what direction do we want? Our, you know, if you were to plant your flag right here, and it says this person right here, you know, this is building X, Y, Z, and I'm not talking about death. I'm just saying that if you were to want to travel the world, but this place represents you or this platform represents you. What do you want to be able to say to others? What do you want, you know, your... What you want your legacy your to be. Your legacy, absolutely. Mm. So legacy building is definitely very important. And, you know, going back from, like I said, our ancestors. So it's just, you know, it's not promoted and not spoke about. There's limitations. There's different cultural. And now we're entering to a different um, generation there's three generations after me. So that's where the Onana um, came from. Um, the Ida to Eye Productions um, has built the, um, and, and and back to his question, that's kind of how those two babies kind of just got separated because of what, you know, the fact that I've always had creators around me, people who like to be in the art scene, music, um, sculptures. I've even had jewelry makers you know, you name it, the whole nine yards. So um, from producers to songwriters, shout out to La Voz in Eye to Eye Productions. Um, he has um, shared his knowledge and his, his directorship of music videos that have been played by several people and um, also his uh, music um, genius behind him and um, as well as yourself, you know, and we've just kind of been like, yo, you know, it's like a creator language. You, it doesn't matter your background, your authenticity, your, you know, your, your, you know, where you grew up from. It was, you're a creator, I'm a creator. Hey, let's, you know, just invest in each other and support each other and become part of that supportive movement. So that's something that I can honestly give you right now with the question that you did ask, um, that that's been... Um, my ongoing, it came from California. It, it's just me as Mo, and then my, it became platforms. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, right? right? Can we talk about the eye to eye? Yes, absolutely. So let's, yeah, what, what, let's get into that. Yeah, what, yeah. what is eye to eye? So eye to eye production. It, it, it's I, then the, the letter I, the number two, and the letter I. Correct. Yep. So what does that um, stand for? It's eye to eye, ojo por ojo. Right now we're eye to eye. Oh. Okay. So before content, um, you know, you would have the actual theaters where you can go and sit down and, you know, there wasn't no TikToks. You had to physically go to the theaters and that's still available in live in mm -hmm. effect. I so, love the um, correct. So just being able to see, okay, let me see theater. Let me see opera. Let me listen to a pianist and watch him play mm. and let me watch an artist and create art. That is another level of therapeutic. Why? Because they're putting their, they're harnessing their energy and they're sharing it with the, what it is that they're painting. And that energy can transform to others. And just by a painting, just by a sound, oh, yeah. you can be able to heal others. And us as human beings and humanity, we can all just heal each other through creativity. Like I said, whether it's painting a song, whether it's a poetry, whether it's putting it as to spread out and share with others, you know, it just becomes a um, eye to eye, you know, like if I were to remove all of this, we're still here, you know, you're still a creator, you're still a cultivator, you're still moving and grooving through your music's going to be played for generations to go. I, I, I can only hope. We're you know? putting it in the metaverse. I'm just so saying, I can only hope. Global. Put my music in the metaverse. You have my permission. <laughs> Do coming. it. Use it. Yes. He said it. <laughs> yeah go ahead yeah 
you know. Yes, so that's just basically don't steal what it, it is. Mm, so we're never, you're, never. Yes. You're cool. Never. I'll just give you a few billion. That's Man, all. that'll work. <laughs> so with the uh, IOI Productions, what do you got? Or either one of them. You got anything big coming up that you could talk about? Anything big for the new year? Uh, uh, hard close, the, new, the, the rest of 2023? What, what do you got planned? Well, this is an... Um, like I said, this has been an ongoing, we're actually growing, we're growing um, um, actually by the minutes, by the seconds at this point. And um, as rapidly as we're going, it's just like I said, you know, I have, um, I, everything that I do, I don't tell people I'm the CEO or I'm the owner. I like to go and I like to go and just be with everyone you know you're you have a mind body and soul we have a mind body and soul let's just go be so i've had people that said oh i'm her right hand man or i'm her you know this and that or and i'm just like no you're neither either you are here with me we're yeah. creating we are one we're on you know? the same we're on the same we're like this unidos you know we're united and that's the language that we need to be speaking you know we can say you know all these lives matter all day long but what about unity what about humanity what about being able to just um be one within um eye to eye you know um you know what i'm what i'm teaching you teach the teachers teach others be the leader. Leaders can lead others. Everybody has the ability to have it within themselves. They just have to be able to find that self-expression that builds them. And if you build it, that's what you are. You build it, they will come. You build it, they will come, Adrian. That's the doors right there. Yes, the key has been opened. That's right. I'm the gatekeeper. Ooh, that's <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> this time we're going on a private jet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, so... I know we were talking about the, the your work with kids. Yes. We were talking about that early before the show started. Can we, can, are we able to yes. touch on that at all? Yes, we can. Oh, awesome. Because you were telling me some amazing stuff that you do <laughs> with foster kids and stuff like that, yes. right? And what, and stuff that you're trying to offer foster children. We're so. going to. We're going to. Mm -hmm. it's, oh, it's, I'm, I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean trying to, yeah. but you're going we're to. Going yes. To. Manifest it. Yes. yes. It has been Do it. spoken. It is going to write right. the check now. Yeah. Yes. So tell, it's in tell a, it's in process already, and um, awesome. It's in process already. So I'd like to say congratulations for listening. That's it. Just kidding. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> That's it. I'm just kidding. Yes, Tubo. Go get that soda. Just oh. kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, get that rum too. We got some rum chata. No, no, <laughs> no. Toma alcohol. No más tomo. Soda. Soda right. is like coffee and like alcohol to me in one. Right. <laughs> so check it out. Yes. So with what you're asking, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. No, no. You're, no you're. Um, so with what I want to say is so Eye to Eye Productions, that's basically the platform, what I'm sharing with you, what it is. Um, along that, though, we also do clean content for children and we're on a mission to create um, pos positive music for children and just being able to have that um positive content because like I said, I became a grandmother and she's turning three and um, it's not just the social media or technology, it's almost even everywhere. You know, um, you try to share with them to play a playlist and something comes out in the music. So, you know, there's a group of us, um, I believe even Snoop Dogg is working on something similar to this, but he's working on like nursery rhymes and whatever have you. And that's where I'm working on. I'm, I'm doing a, um, I'm doing a album the album is going to be of all positivity um of to be able to provide for children and it's um what it is um the all the all the um everything that we receive from that project is going to go into um being able to project something for foster children um we are a, we are a um organization that educates people on how to be knowledgeable of being able to have um, either grandparents rights or being able to have the ability to have um, positive um, um, role models around your children so we're going to be able to have um, nonprofit organizations that are already in place where we don't want to step on anybody's toes let me make that clear 
Um, we just want to be able to create a positive platform, whether it's resources um, to be able to give children and to create positive content. So anything that they do see in like social media and TikTok, it'll be, you know, BTS, like behind the scenes. How does somebody make a, you know, how does somebody DJ? How does somebody paint? You know, just the positivity that's already in place, just being able to create it and have the DYI. Hey, if I could do it, you can too, you know, and if, you know, he wants to be able to have his, you know, DYI and, you know, have that positive content um, creation, that's what eye to eye productions is because you basically just strip what um, the algorithm that has already been in place um, and what's already going on. But now you um, stripping it becomes a grandparents platform where we're able to say, hey, I'm I don't like that. No me gusta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I want something good for my baby. How is it that I, you know, I taught them and I taught them, you know, in the house, you know, how to have, you know, how to be able to, you know, brush your teeth, how to, you know, mm. lay, you know, how, like in my house, we, um, we, we are very big foodies, but we do still, um, we still have um, turn out. We don't have no TV, no technology devices mm. when we eat for dinner. And we um, still have the ability to, um, when we get the chance and there's enough for everyone, we do um, lay out how you, you know, set a table and, you know, show appreciation for each other. Um, like I tell a lot of people, you may not like me, but you have to respect me. And I'm not saying that my grandchildren are like that, but we're growing in a day and age where like the devices are telling our children what to do. So we're just creating the positive content to be able to say, you know what, grandparents, parents, let's go ahead and do these projects and it's a family project. And now you become a, like I said, you become that unity, you become a team because it all starts at home. So being able to create that positive platform is something that is more um, capturing and the children get to provide an experience because they're looking at the devices, but are they providing an experience? No, they're not. The experience is hands on. Let me um, go ahead and cut this, you know, let's go ahead and decorate the whole house as even if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, parents get on phones too, but it's okay to spend a few seconds to making that tortilla a mano mm. y vamos a hacer unos tacos. <laughs> yeah. Fifth, you, you can get a lot done in 15 minutes, yes, you know, by putting absolutely. your phone down, phone down and just, you know, chilling for 15 minutes. Actually, um, I do the whole 15 minute thing a lot. Yes. Um, so, so where would people find this content? So um, currently we are, um, close. yes, yeah. currently we are in, um, we just have our, um, like you want to say our ballpark um, pages right now, which is our social media. That's kind of like the fire starter. And what's happening behind the scenes is in motion. Um, one of our projects became a docu-series. And behind that docu-series talks about um, being able to find um, your creative intellectual development because um, children go to school and you get you get um, labeled by a special needs or whatever society wants to call it nowadays. But um, there's another conscience education called Waldorf, and I used to be a Waldorf teacher. Shout out to the Waldorf teachers, probably not listening or looking because we're anti-media. But um, mm -hmm. basically what it is, is um, being able to be exactly that. Remove the, and it's not to say that media is bad, it's just to say that, you know, teach your children to be their own hero. Um, who is that? Whose cape is that? Oh, is that yours? Yeah, okay. Put it on. Here, I'm putting on mine too. Let's go save the world. Not really, but let's go ahead and create. Let's be, let's go ahead and be unity, team. Let's go ahead and create this. So um, being able to find that and to be able, able to find within yourself that um, conscience, education, and being able to teach children at a very young age because in most um, countries by the age of 12, they already know what your child is going to be. They already know, the children are already telling you what they're going to be and that's coming from them. So with that, it just takes it into a whole different direction. So if by age 12, they're already telling you, they already know what they want to do. And then when you turn, when they turn 14 and they're 
with the wrong crowd. It's like, what part is that in life? You know, well, the part in life is that is that, you know, people say teen are the most difficult and whatever have you, but really you could learn a lot. Take a journal and just jot down and um, kind of just write down what they do. You know, with uh, my children, I've always just wrote a journal about them. And on their 21st birthday, just gave them their journal so they could be able to read about themselves. I think we are the last of our generation that uh, has the... That knows what a journal is? Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> um, when it comes to social media and things like that um some of the things that i see <laughs> are like we've got our phones uh spelling for us now right when we start typing in you know it spells for us as far as uh um, there are babysitters now giving the kids that you know what i mean i think that the uh, when you when you do that when you are are teaching the the I say it the old school way, but the traditional way of sitting down at the table and putting all electronics away and things like that, you know, um, and just kind of mentoring your grandson, your grandchildren and just show them, you know, because um, with social media, it's really crazy. Uh, yes. I don't know if you, well, I'm, I'm sure we're all aware of this, but when it comes to like TikTok and things like that, like, do you know what they show them in China on their TikTok? They yeah, show I them. Heard, I heard them. They show them like all positive stuff. Yeah. They don't show them the bullshit That's, that you see with pranks and they get, and they get, re and they get rewarded. Yeah, for, for yes, creating. Yes. They, they get they get rewarded for creating yeah. positive content. So yes. they That's, show it's for us what they what they um you know allow. send to us as a lot of the pranks, a lot of the crime, a lot of the explicit you know images and things. That's what we get to see when it comes to China. They see like you know, Kung Fu or uh, martial arts or um, fashion, you, like, you know, all positive stuff. Mm -hmm. So in an age, well, I, I, all I can say is be smart about who you yeah. follow. Yeah. Just because they follow you don't mean you have to follow them. Yeah. Um, because what they post is what you're going to see. So, yeah. Yeah. so, you know, if you follow great people, you see great stuff. Yeah. Correct. You know, if yeah. you follow a bunch of meme accounts then yeah. that's what you're gonna see you, and, you know yep. that's what you're gonna get so Absolutely. so you know be smart about what, what yeah. you do and we just be smart about who you follow and and if, when you have kids you know mm -hmm. yeah i think you should at least watch, see who they're following if you allow them to have that kind of social to, media to give you an example um so on youtube there are individuals that uh, make videos on just playing with kids' toys. It could be kids playing with toys and other kids are watching kids play with toys. And I'm, I trip out on that, you know what I mean? Because I've seen it before. I've seen like some of my nephews watching videos. I'm like, why don't you just go play with toys? You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a lot of things you see, but what's what's slid in these videos and stuff, which, is, which shocked me, mm -hmm. is I started to see who was playing with the toys at times. It's like you see man hands. It's man just opening and wrapping toys it's really it's really wild and then one time there was a video where um it was playing and then midway through the video you, you can never catch it unless you watch the video all the way through and uh i heard some cussing on it i'm like whoa what was that and i grabbed the ipad and i looked at it and went back to him like yo they just the guy just said f you real you know what i mean and all the all this stuff is just out there you know what i mean so yeah just be aware you know what i mean uh like myself you know what i mean i mean uh, it, online is not much different then in person that you have to be involved yeah, yeah. you have to monitor you have to Absolutely. you have yeah. to ensure yeah that your kid is safe and and, and they're not being targeted so where could people like look for you support you uh follow you do you have like some instagram handles um some information that we can give our listeners that have been listening for listening to us and to your yeah. story what, your what are your links yes yes all my links are vintage vintage hourglass on facebook only because instagram the haters got me the social media trolls Damn. <laughs> it's okay um i'm still moving and grooving it gave me it gave me the ability to raise these two other babies um which is um eye to eye productions um and the onana organization and um those are on instagram they're on um YouTube, I have the vintage hourglass still. Everything's vintage hourglass except for um, Snapchat where hourglass productions and you just see a lot of BTS um, of 
all the projects that we've done. I think um, that is the most exclusive one. Why? Because um, I, you know, I've put people on that asked me not to put them on the other social medias, but they wanted to be on Snapchat because I go live with them and they just like that type of attention and not attention. I don't mean it like that. I just mean like they'd rather be exclusive. They're like, yeah. put me on your exclusive content. I'm like, okay, yeah. get let's get on my Snapchat. I want where the lights act at. Fool. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and act a fool over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I act a fool everywhere, but that's just one of the ones that is just like raw and personal. Not the grass. Yeah. So they can anybody that's listening out there could just reach out to you personally, right? Just ask yes. for um, money mo. That's correct. Cash money mo. Cash money mo. That's a new name. I don't right got there. the bag of money until you got your plan. <laughs> <laughs> teamwork. Hey, because like, it's teamwork, yes, right? I like when you say, though, don't yeah. catch feelings, we catch flights. Yes. Yeah, so, mm, I mean, she, she just had a bunch of quotes. And that goes yeah. on because I do have my own travel agency, too. Yeah. Um, well, it, the travel agency goes into the Onan organization. Mm. I got into it because I um, was on. What people want to call retirement, but not really. You know, it's just retiring my old self and creating, Mm. recreating my new version of myself. And that came along with the grandbaby, you know. And when I was able to do that, I said, you know what? Um, In order to grow, I got to let certain things go. So a lot of the things that I was working on, that's where Eye to Eye Productions kind of just, I ballparked that. And I just said, you know what? It's about the grandbaby. I don't care what, you know. And in the process, it was my first time ever facing, you know, um, you know, just other personal, like I said, foster care and, you know, whatever have you. But I also wanted to take the time and educate other people who are going through the process or anyone who's ever um, dealt with it. So in Mm -hmm. order to do the foster care prevention, it's just educating the community on being able to letting children know that it's not their fault sometimes and letting people Mm. know that it's never going to be your fault. It's just sometimes we can't carry the adults um, choices and being able to say, okay, well, you know, um, why or who? Well, how about none of that? You Mm. like to paint? Fuck it. (gasps) Excuse my French. Bad word. Oh my God. Budget. I'll say it. FCC is going to get us, man. (laughs) Hijo su mouse. (laughs) Budget. Kidding. No, but check Wait. it out. You know what? Um, Fudge I want to say uh, in closing, uh, thank you for so much for everything you do. You you have a huge heart. Uh, you are you are not selfish. You're you're willing to help people out. Um, we've we we lost a lot of people um, in the last few years, whether through uh, COVID or just you know just in general. Um, and for you to keep, because you could you could say you know what, I'm gonna just take care of my grandkids. And yeah. I'm going to take care of my family. And that's all I'm going to do. But day in, day out, yep. the things that we have seen um, is that you've been motivating people, inspiring people. I mean, you just have this thing about you that I want to help you. So uh, all the listeners out there, um, please give her a follow. Um, you know, please support her in any way. Reach out to her if you need any help. Uh, we appreciate you coming on so much and just all the things you're doing are such great things. And good luck to you in the future for all your new endeavors closing out the year 2023 um hard uh a good close and then for 2024 we wish you all the good luck yeah thank for real thank you thank you for coming out today you're you're, you're amazing and and, thank you. and all the work you're doing is very inspiring so if anybody wants to get involved or support her work with the kids please give her a follow send her a message on instagram and it's the o nana right oh nana it's o h h n a n a o r g for organization and um there too you will be seeing some posts coming up um we don't ask for no money we just ask to be able to um let's get together as a community and do homelessness prevention drug addiction prevention um child awareness child advocacy and being able to educate ourselves on the things that may be hard to talk about you know and just let's kind of just be the best version of ourselves um phoenix arizona has a very big potential and um i'm in a mission and i'm just looking for other leaders to stand next to Mm. me and let's go ahead and lead the way it like whitney houston said let the children lead the way show them all the beauty they they how does it go show them all the beauty 
they possess inside. So let's all be that inner child and let's build the city and let's protect it for the way it needs to be. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you Absolutely. once again. So Thank you so honored. much. It was our honor to have you here. Um, so with that said, yeah. this is What's Good Phoenix. I'm your host, Aware. I'm DJ Tranzo. <laughs> What's good, Phoenix? <laughs> yes. My girl, Se Mo. Habla money, Mo. Yeah. En tu radio, yeah. en tu oído. So in closing, <laughs> she's going to take us out with some bars. Can you hit them bars again? <laughs> All right, here it goes, y'all. Mm. My name is Mona. It was nice to know you. Mm. I used to live in California. Now I live in Arizona. Nice to know mm. you. <laughs> you heard me. You there heard. You go. Peace out, everybody. Peace. Peace.